Which was it? Excessive use of force by Los Angeles police or understandable reaction in self-defense? The answers involve larger questions about police practices, news organizations, and the responsibility of citizens. Terry Drinkwater reports. Last January, a black woman named Eula Love was shot by two policemen. They had been called to her home by the gas company because she had hit the utilities bill collector with a shovel. Mrs. Love was overdue with her $69 payment. She also threatened the officers with a knife. They fired 12 times and killed her. Her neighbors in Watts couldn't believe it. They could have subdued this lady without using the weapons that they used. They could have took her alive, plain and simple, because it was two cops against one lady with a butcher knife. In the months since, blacks and liberals have become intensely critical of what they charge is excessive use of force by the Los Angeles Police Department. The American Civil Liberties Union says that in the last four years, officers here have shot over 300 people, killing nearly half of them. We're no longer going to stand aside and let the police department shoot our people down in cold-blooded murder. But the district attorney investigated the Eula Love shooting and decided not to prosecute the officers, calling their action justifiable homicide in their own self-defense. Police Chief Darrell Gates. I think it's about time that we say something about the responsibility of people in this community not to solve their problems with violence, because violence begets violence. And that's what Eula Love did, in this, uh, did on this occasion. But Mayor Bradley's police commission concluded just the opposite, saying the officers were premature in drawing their weapons. Chief Gates says that finding devastated morale in his department. And in defense of his men, the chief has gone on the attack suggesting there's a conspiracy against those who uphold law and order. In a closed-circuit TV address to the department, he placed the blame generally on the media. Particularly the, the liberal press.